All right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, the Suvi fam. We got Mitch and his boy Evan here today, and we're finally working on Mitch's wagon. The boys are pretty much getting ready to pull the motor out right now. Mitch just picked up the new engine hoist. So let's get this shit. What fork? I just want to make sure it's not caught. This is exciting, guys. This is sick. This is the first time I've ever seen this. Yeah. And I've been really dying to see like how it's done. We did, we did I want to learn. Like, some uh, fucking 2x4 uh, uh, plywood and some grass. Yeah. And uh -huh. if, we can, if we could we do, do it where we did mine, we could do it in a fucking garage. <laughs> Oh, this is here to throw out. What presses the clutch? The uh, oh, pressure plate. Pressure plate and stuff. All right, guys. Motor is officially pulled from the wagon. So he's pulling the motor too, so we can do valve cover gaskets. Just give it a quick refresh. Refresh all the bolts in there. Obviously, replace all the hardware. So hell yeah. Holy fuck! <laughs> well, you know, it happens like that sometimes. Nice. Yeah. There's an understand, boys. What are you feeling, kid? Fucking scared. <laughs> fucking ruined my floor with my fucking... World class mechanic right here. Yeah. <laughs> we know what yeah. done without him. <laughs> All right, guys, so, you know, fast forward to about a day or two. Mitch, you know, obviously things got late, but he's been working his way at things. He did get the headers off already. He's got about two bolts left for the oil pan. So he's going to take oil pan out. Headers already out, like I said. He's got in, what do you got? I got an IG oil pan street series with a pickup and baffle. Say less. So that's that's what's going to, you know, replace that little beat thing, kind of. So what's up, brother? How are you? Chilling, chilling. So I believe he also has what HKS headers, and he's got some HKS headers to throw on as well, and equal some equal length headers, and a blouse, a big big blouse, 3.5 turbo, which we'll show you guys. So exciting news! But other than that, he's gonna do some valve cover gases as well. So hell yeah. Got Juanito here too, guys, by the way. It's been a while. You take a photo? That looks brand new. Did you even drive this thing? I beat the shit out of this. Yeah, we don't find like. Obviously, we're gonna have a bunch of watches. You can if you want to. You can label them if you want, but. They're all the same. I know, but still. Yeah, in case one's acting up. Yeah, it was in that spot maybe for a reason, you know? Yeah. <laughs> the hawk. Right. Just move them up a little bit. Oh, they went in the bucket? Yeah. <laughs> He's gonna have to go fish in. All right, guys, check out the new Bronco. Super, super clean, man. Wild track edition. Soft top. Top comes off super, super easy. But we're just making a, trick, a quick ace trip. So, 
Alright guys, oh real quick Mitch, let me see that. New OEM right, guys. gaskets. Nice new OEM gaskets, like Mitch just said. Alright guys, we just, they just got the surface nice and clean. Already starting to get, you know, the IEG pickup baffle and oil pan on, so heck yeah. All right, guys, so fast forward a few days. We have been, you know, working away at different things. We got a bunch of builds going on in the channel, like you guys know if you've been following along. We got Squirtle over here looking super, super clean with the Subi fan banner. Also, Sylvie's over here looking super, super clean as well. We got the red banner on her. But we're just over here at Mitch's, and uh, I'll give you guys a quick little update on the wagon, so. But yeah, it's been a few days, guys. Like I said, we got multiple builds on the channel. We're all working at them, nice and slow, tackling it. But Mitch has been away over here, tackling the motor for the wagon. He's been going away at it. So we're gonna tell you guys exactly how it's looking, what's going on here, and finish up this video. All right, guys, so last we left off, he was installing the beautiful new IEG oil, oil pan. pan pickup and baffle, correct? Yep. He did finish up the valve cover gaskets. That's All right, guys, so there is the IEG oil pan looking so, so clean with the fins on the bottom. Oh, my gosh. Super, super sick. So what else did you do over here, Mitch? And then we installed the brand new HKS equal length headers. So we're going to get a... You, you lose the rumble, but it's so much nicer for the motor. Yes. It keeps it safer. Then we end up doing putting a cylinder four cooling mod, uh, get a dom tune. Um, we did the TGV deletes. Uh, you're actually on. So this is a WX manifold from from the 04. So you actually have to Dremel out the manifolds to uh, let because these are like version one IAG. Fucking they're old. But that's all you have to do. Drill them out a little bit, they, and then they end up working. So you got that. I did the uh, as we said the valve covers. Um, we do have a. I'm changing over to a Comp AOS also. I was on a street, but that's not the word anymore. And then we got the turbo. And we're doing an external, obviously. Hold on. I'm doing a. It's a little beat, but it was what was on here. You got an external. That'll work. That'll work. Yeah, it should. It's good shape. Yeah, it's not. This needs a little clean, a little Dremel to it. Yeah, I might just leave it. But yeah, that's all ready. And then this is the turbo. Light. I see. A, I see a clutch over there too. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's in the background. Yeah. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Brand new ACT HD Street clutch. Nice. No flywheel. Nice. Don't need a flywheel. Nice. No, definitely not. OEM flywheel will be. Yeah, it's be fine. It yep. should be fine. I think that's OEM that's in there now. So yeah, we got a we got a 3.5 DOM. That's going to be getting thrown on, guys, so he's been working at this. He does have the IEG fuel rails as well. I just need, uh, yeah, we do need uh, 1,300 cc injectors. There's uh, thousands right now. They're old IDs, so we're, we're going to be taking these off, putting them in Squirtle, actually, so. Hell yeah, guys. Hell yeah. And then we do have a fuel pump for it also right here. It's an AEM, AEM 340, I believe. We got a brand new 340. Nice. Should do. Nice. So yeah, guys, with this setup on the wagon, Mitch is pretty hoping for about 400. Yeah. 400 on pump, that'd be, I think, solid, solid numbers, especially even, with mind. the WRX tranny. You know what I mean? We yeah, want to keep it safe. So I think 400, anywhere around that would, would be like a freaking ripper, man. But this thing's already coming out so, so nice. WRX tranny is scary. So, so nice. It can handle the power, it's really just the torque, yeah, right? The yeah, torque, is, yeah. Is. 
All right, guys. So making sure you guys are tuning into the channel, subscribe to the channel, like the video. We are going to be, you know, finishing up the build soon. Mitch is just working his way, waiting for a few things to come in. But soon the motor is going to be getting dropped into the wagon, guys. It's going to be going to the Subaru shop. Jay's going to be tuning it, hopefully making 400 wheel on pump. So super, super excited, guys. Remember, tune into the build if, you, if you're trying to catch the wagon. But alright guys, remember, if you're liking all the content and all the channel videos, smash that like button, show us all the love, do it all up, super fan out baby.